A South Florida Instagram model was arrested after she was caught driving a car resembling a Florida Highway Patrol car. As Action News Jack's Phil Amato explains, police are making sure the car was never used in a crime. A charger that basically looked like a patrol car, but it wasn't one of our vehicles. At a glance, both cars have the look of the Florida Highway Patrol, but one of them is fake. It was stopped on the 826, and now an Instagram model is charged with fraud and war. It was Tuesday afternoon, troopers spotted a vehicle that looks a lot like theirs, but something was off. This is a state trooper who made the traffic stop, and of course, once he saw that, he said, hey, there's something wrong here. Look at our vehicle back here and look at this vehicle. FHP trooper Joe Sanchez explains all that is wrong with this picture. It has blue lights, it had a siren, the colors are the same as ours, and then it's got FSO guard. But clearly, if you're being stopped by that vehicle and you're being stopped, you're going to think it's a patrol car. Troopers say 28-year-old Ulia Pugachev was behind the wheel. According to the arrest report, she says she's the owner of FSO guard. The security company posting several pictures of the same car on Instagram in September. According to the arrest report, she told troopers that she had the car wrapped in black and tan because she had previously seen FHP's marked patrol units and fell in love with the color scheme. In Florida, that color scheme is for the Florida Highway Patrol only. So that person was arrested uh, for, for Florida statute violation. She's charged with fraud for having a vehicle that imitates a police unit failure to register a vehicle, and misuse of a dealer license plate. Troopers want to make sure this car hasn't been used to commit a crime. They're asking anyone who may have encountered it in a traffic stop to report it. And remember, if a suspicious-looking vehicle ever tries to pull you over... Call 911 and say, look, I'm, I don't think that's a patrol car. And that agency will send a marked unit to make that traffic stop. For local coverage you can count on, Phil Amato, Action News Jax. We've uncovered more than a dozen cases involving people impersonating JSO officers in the past three years. Our Action News Jacks investigation found the city of Jacksonville sells old JSO gear online. Since 2020, the city has sold 369 decommissioned JSO cars, SUVs, trucks, vans, and motorcycles for nearly $800,000. So you can go to actionnewsjacks.com to learn more about what to do if you think you're being pulled over by a police impersonator.